Hi guys, so I'll teach you how to switch from a call center setup or from being a BPO employee to a freelancer that will be earning more than 100 pesos per hour. Nahiwala kang susunding boss. You have your own time and you can still have more time to your family and very effective to para sa mga mami na katulad ko so before um before i switched to this freelancing i was able to find upwork this was this was way back 2014 before um odes pa siya then you have to subscribe or watch tutorials and even answer a bunch of questionnaire in order for you to be approved if I'm not mistaken so you need to develop your skills but to, in today's time you can just create your account through Upwork sign up then wait for you to get approved so pag approved ka na you just need you don't need to put much um words or like you experience mo kunyari uh, I've been in, in the BPO industry for 7 years ganun ganun hindi ang best way to do it is just add all your skills your niche kung ano forte mo then just want to share with you what I've been earning kasi lagi ako nagka-cash out eh every week so I've been earning like fourteen dollars per hour. The lowest one will be four dollars. So the highest paying job that I have is sixteen dollars per hour. And for all the contracts that I have, if you are into sales, tignyo kahit five kahit five dollars pinapatos ko yung para magkocomment kana sa Facebook. The highest amount that I I've got I've got was doing appointment setting once I've book a demo it's two hundred dollars so it's like ten thousand pesos and some other um mostly because uh more on appointment setting and sales but you see, if you can see you're getting much of everything in a freelancing job and the good thing about it is body kang mag time in or clock in anytime you want accordingly sa time zone na can cater mo so here's what my suggestions. Um, you need to filter kwani mga alam mong gawin. Like if you're into CRM na HubSpot, then search for HubSpot jobs na related. If you've been in a BPO um industry for years, then you can just add customer service, technical support. So when you search for it, it's easy for you to filter kwani mga gusto mong applyan. And the good thing about this is you will be able to see kung ilan yung proposals na nasabit na rito. So far, this one received more than enough. Pero check nyo pa rin kasi minsan pag mga customer service, mas marami silang hina-hire. And um, you need to check out the connects as well. Kung ilan yung connects na parang application pamasahe mo so this is just a live chat support minsan di naman nasusunod to mga to mga perfect grammar and this is a good thing they need to have five freelancers and it, it's an ongoing project since it's a verified client who has more than enough reviews so, kung galing kang BPO, mag-sign up ka sa mga ganito. Meron mga easy job, which is data entry. Um, all you have to do is just to look up for white pages, something like that. Mag-encode ka lang sa Excel, sa Excel sheet. And then, to mostly are just copy-paste. Copy expense details from PDF to spreadsheet. Um, ito yung mga scanned papers nila then it will be sent to you they so you just need to encode that to excel sheet you don't need for formula sometimes they just need documents or data what i can share to you is um one of the easiest job that i have 
which is you need to call a certain numbers and ask the items that you have so that's one of the easiest thing that I have then that's for data entry and the good thing about this is if you started at four dollars you can just increase it to 15 17 or 14 so you will be earning like 700 to 800 pesos per hour so you can check out as well a voice talent if you have a good um, voice like a voiceover you just need to to mimic or tell like a youtuber voice talent like a narrator itself let's say this one they are willing to pay $100 so all you have to do is you must have a deep male voice it's like like this um hi my name is something like that or what are the 10 best um places in the world like you need to exaggerate things parang oa and the pero sa kanila pag maganda yung voice mo maganda rin yung pay 5045 seconds lang na commercial so makakakuha nyo pag nakuha mo yun. And you have to submit siya, syempre yung different um, ways on how you say things. Tapos ito, parang ito, magbabay sila ng $30. Payment for recording on one paragraph. So this is just a, mostly kasi ngayon dahil pandemic. Most gusto nila yung parang sa podcast or gusto nila yung para magbabasa ka lang ng children's book. Then, i-upload nila sa may, ano nila, sa platform nila para pag nag-online class yung mga bata, pag binitig na yung mga visuals, then, you are the voiceover dun sa mga kwento na binabasa sa kanila. And, $30 is not bad. It's like 1500 less um app for fee. Hindi ganun ka, ano, kahassle. So, mostly, mas maganda applyan yung maganto. Kung maganda boses mo. Or, you think that you are like Malasiri ang boses, ganun. So, yun lang, yun ang share ko. I hope that helps. Um, For customer service, apply whatever, because you can do general consumers, billing, technical support, you can do everything sa Upwork. Huwag kayo manghihina ng loob na, ay, about 30, 30 hours per week. Hey, when you're in a BPO industry, you're doing more than 40 hours a week. You need to, con- to include your travel time yung break hours nyo, yung pagod, lahat-lahat, at gumagasos ka pa. Eh, kung nasa bahay ka lang, pares lang naman, nagbabayad ka rin naman ng internet. Then, better yet, use that resources to earn. Because right now, you need an earned income. Like, yun yung work income mo. Yun yung mga, ano, yung meron naman dito na parang, ano, um, Passive income, mga ganun, interest income, yun sa mga banko. Ito kasi parang work income to. Salary, you, be, you are being paid for what you do. Which is more legit in a way. Kasi you see the, the output or the result of the things that you do. And a good thing about this is that kung ayaw mo na ng contract tapos ka na sa, sa kontrata mo, then you can just tell your client, you can just message them directly na, okay, I'm done with the work week, I don't want it to continue it, or you, they need to tell you na, ay, ito, um, you need to finish the, you need to finish the contract. And you can make, you can go back to them whenever you want to. Just make sure you, you leave a good impression. You provide what they need and focus. So that's it. Hope my blah blah helps you in a simple way or will help you switch from being a BPO call center agent and switch to being a freelancer, earning more, having more time. And hindi ka to travel para iris yung health mo, para lang dahil nga sa COVID. Thank you and have a good one. Bye!